What's up, Sixers fans? We're going to get you caught up on the 76ers free agency tracker, plus the latest on James Harden. But first, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Chase Sr. has the day off for happy 4th of July. So, hey, I'm working. He's not. Add him on Twitter, at Chase underscore Sr. But if you love the 76ers, subscribe, because we're bringing you a video anyway, even though he is not in studio. Hit that big red button, and let's go ahead and jump on in. Philadelphia 76ers Now is presented by Aura, an all-in-one digital safety tool to keep you secure on the internet. Start a free trial today at Aura.com slash chat sports. It's a 14-day free trial. Trust me, you're going to want to prevent yourself from getting hacked. Aura.com slash chat sports. On today's show, we're going to react to every move that has happened so far and one that should be happening soon when it comes to James Harden, P.J. Tucker, Daniel House, Trevlin Queen, the moves that have happened up to this point. We'll kind of go one by one uh, through each of those moves uh, as we go along here. We'll start with the big one, and that, of course, is around P.J. Tucker, who signed that three-year, $33.2 million contract with Philadelphia. And we've talked about this. Uh, me and Chase talked about it together on a couple of videos. I'm sure he's talked about it as well. Yes, three years and $33.2 million is a lot for a guy who's 36, 37 years old. But P.J. Tucker is an absolute dog. You look at his numbers last year. His uh, numbers went up with Miami compared to the year before with Milwaukee. He's got a good corner three-point shot, 41.5% uh, from three a year ago. And we know what he brings to the table in terms of intangibles and defense. So you plug him in uh, to a potential lineup that looks like this. Of course, James Harden hasn't officially signed yet, but that is the expectation. James Harden, Tyree, uh, Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, P.J. Tucker, and Joel Embiid. That's a pretty nice starting five. And P.J. Tucker, what he brings to this team that this team hasn't had is no nonsense. P.J. Tucker is a no BS type of player, and that's what the Sixers need. This is a team that's underachieved, that's been immature in the past. Uh, this window is starting to close a little bit in terms of winning a championship. I respect Daryl Morey for going all in. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. P.J. Tucker gives you a chance to make it work because you know what? Every team that guy is on is playing deep into the playoffs. That was the case this year. Miami was one game away from the NBA Finals. Let's go to Daniel House here, another former Daryl Morey guy as he's bringing the band back together up in Philadelphia. Two years, $8.5 million for Daniel House as he uh, reunites with Morey Tucker and uh, likely James Harden. You look at his past four years, uh, this is kind of a 3 and D type of guy, 37.5% last year. He's got good length at 6'8". Um, I think his scoring should go up a little bit this year. I think he can get back to the 8 to 10 points per game. He was just at about 6 uh, a year ago. He knows Harden very well. He knows Tucker. He should be able to plug in and play with these guys very, very quickly here. I like his size. I like his defensive versatility. He can start on nights if you need him to. He can come off the bench. Um, this is a, 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 a guy, a selfless type of player. I like this move for Philadelphia, and you didn't pay that much for him. So Daniel House uh, to the 76ers on a two-year deal worth eight and a half million. Appreciate Aura for sponsoring today's show. Here's the deal, folks. We do more online than ever before, and that's only going to increase moving forward. You need someone who's going to monitor online activity because hackers, they're coming at you. Millions and millions of people get hacked every single year. Secure your identity with Aura, because identity theft happens every single day. Identity theft protection provided by uh, Aura. They're going to monitor uh, everything happening online with your accounts. Financial fraud protection is something they offer. I had my Twitter hacked a few years ago, lost it, had to make a new one. That was a pain in the you-know-what. Aura.com slash chat sports. Go ahead and get a 14-day free trial with Aura today. Link is in the comments. It's in the description. Family plans up to five people. Trevel and Queen, the G League MVP from a year ago, two years and $3.3 million. I was actually talking to producer Coop about the history of G League MVPs. Have they ever really done anything? Chris Boucher, probably the best one. Uh, he's He's been a decent pro. Um, who was the other one that we were talking about? Frank Mason was another one. He didn't do much uh, in the league. I think there was one more. Paul Reed, who is on the Sixers, of course. That's the other name that was uh, blanking my mind. So we'll see if 
if he can have success, was great in the G League last year. 22-6, and six, dished it a little bit as well with over four assists per game, three steals per game, did a little bit of everything. He's got the frame and the athleticism uh, to play in the NBA. It's just about finding that consistency. A lot of these G League guys that ball out, you know, they're kind of – it's not the most organized basketball, if you will. Um, and obviously the level of talent is not super high. So I'll be, I'll be curious to see if he can make that jump and if he can play – in the NBA at a little bit of a higher level, uh, which obviously would be a big jump from the G League. But uh, I think there's some real upside there. There's some talent. Uh, we'll see if he can make that jump. What is the best move the Sixers have made so far this offseason? I think it's got to be P.J. Tucker, even though it's an overpay. Let me know what you guys think down below. Best move made by the Sixers so far this offseason. Could also say the Anthony Melton trade. I think he'll help this team as well. All right, let's talk James Harden as we await uh, to see when he will re-sign. He, of course, declined his $47 million player option. Plan is for him to sign on a cheaper deal for two, maybe three-year uh, type of contract, which uh, gives the Sixers some more fl financial flexibility uh, to kind of round out this roster. No deal is done uh, at this point, but that's a formality because uh, my boy Harden was popping bottles with Meek Mill, P.J. Tucker, and Joel Embiid over the holiday weekend, so he's going to be back in Philadelphia. The question is, can he get back to getting into better shape? I saw him squat, uh, doing some squat the other day as well, so maybe he's uh, working on chiseling that body a little bit. Um, Harden's still a good player. He's just lost a bit of a step, and I think part of that is it's it's been a lack of dedication to his frame, to his craft. If he can get back into a little bit better shape, keep the assist numbers up, because I like him more as a facilitator at this point. I still think he can give you 23, 25 points, over 10 assists, and some rebounding as well. Just got to be a little bit more efficient and give a little bit more effort on both sides of the floor. I expect him to be back on a two or three year deal, 30, 35 million dollars per year. What's the most you would pay James Harden per year? Would you go up to 40? He opted out of 47. Uh, I'd like to at least save 10 million there. So 37 or less would be ideal on a two or three year deal uh, per annual average there. Of course, talking about 37 million. If you can get him at 35 or less, I think that'd be even better. Let me know Sixers fans, what is the most that you would pay James Harden per year? So while we wait on Harden, these are the three signings so far. P.J. Tucker, Daniel House, Trevlin Queen, three-year deal, two-year deal, two-year deal. Uh, we'll see if any more moves come. Obviously, when the Harden deal comes through, uh, I think we'll have more clarity on what else the Sixers end up doing. All right, name a player you want to add next. Uh, how about not name James Harden? Because we all think that's going to happen, expect that to happen soon. Name another player you'd like to see Philadelphia add, whether it's a free agent or a trade. Uh, get your thoughts on that down in the comments. Comments, and we'll see you next time here on Sixers Now.